Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and this massive Yale is a P31072. It is ginormous, and it's from the salesman set of Yale locks that uh, I was given by some friends. And um, wow, what an absolute beast of a lock this is. It's also impossible to keep clean. It's so shiny that no matter what I do, I always get my fingerprints all over it. Um, so yeah, the bitting on this doesn't look particularly, I know, great, but this is a very, very, very tough pick. Um, it's really, really hard to uh, set those spools inside it, and you drop spools all the time, you have to keep going through the lock. It really is quite the challenge. So yeah, let's have a, a go at picking this, and then gutting it. So we're nicely in the vise opens up nicely there we go just trying to oh wiggle that key out and to pick it I've got a range of tools here I've got a short hook I've got a monkey paw and a gem and I might start with the monkey paw and a bit of top of the keyway tension using um, probably not the most ideal tension tool but it seems to work for me so let's have a go see where we get to six pin lock that's pin two. This lock is all about feel, pin one. See that counter rotation? All these are, are really incredible spools in here. That was six, I believe. Five, very, very easy to overset these. Four, do you hear that? Something dropped then. Um, I'm not sure what, but we, it looks like we've got the false set back. I don't know if four still set. Oh, and it went into an even deep false set then as well. So just need to check on those pins that go through. See so anywhere that isn't set yet. Okay, back to the back. That's six again. Five seems solid. Four, three, two, oh, one. But we're not open. Back to six. Five. Possibly four, two. Okay, so we're in a bit of a state here where it's very hard to tell exactly what is or isn't um, holding us back. So I'm just going to go to a short hook and see whether I can press up on these pins and see if anything's giving me some counter rotation. Feels like five is, but I'm not entirely convinced. It's very easy to drop the pins in the lock like this. Um, so it it's pays to be a bit cautious. Um, what I might do is protect the bottom of the keyway with just so not hammering away at the bottom. It's just um, a little bit of very thin tension tool material. Feels like uh, four here. Got four, but I dropped something which includes, I think, pin. Get a monkey pull back in here. It's a bit more robust. That was pin one, but overset signing? Yes, overset signing. That's fine. Like I said, this is not one of those lots which you just whiz through. You, you do have to there you go. Be respectful to it and it will open like that. Okay. So I just try and stop it from dropping um, out of this ceramic here. And you'll see that it's now fully open with the keyway open. Right, let's have a go at gutting this. See, right down to the keyway. Should have a screwdriver nearby. I've not gutted this yet, so. Uh, this will be a first for me and uh, you. 
I don't know what what's going to go on here. Ah, oh, okay. So just gently leave that there. This is a bit of housing which the core sits in. Interesting, interesting. Uh, that might be a pain to get off. It's a very, very tight circlip. Just look at that. Um, I've got the key, so I'm going to reset it so it locks. And then we can attempt to, so it's a, a full size keyway, attempt to try to get this um, circlip off. That could be tricky. Um, Got a number of ways which we could give this a go. I'm going to try with these circuit pliers. It'll let me get them off somehow. Okay, these might work. Ah, it's like an E clip type arrangement. Okay, we can just lift that off and we can crimp it back on later. Perfect. Right, there we go. Um, Get a suitable follower. I'm going to try to get a hollow, hollow follower on this because I might need to get over. Mm, no, I just need a big shim, really. Nice big shim in the back, and then the key. Come here, like that. Turn it like this. Put a shim in to bridge all of that stuff at the back and get, I suppose any old follower will do at this point. So, um, what's good, what's good, what's good? That might work, would that work? I was hoping that those slots would align. Um, I've got another slotted one, but I think it's just too big, yeah. Uh, just trying to find one which is gonna give me the most control. I think it just might have to be a plain one, hope for the best. One of my lights is blinking, um, I don't know why. Let's give that a go, okay. So, let's have a look. One is steel, two is brass, three is steel, four is steel. Five is brass, six is brass. Um, get my tweezers out. Let's turn those over. So a mixture of anti-drill steel pins and some brass pins there. Nothing really happening in the plug. And then, um, I've actually forgotten which way around this is, but it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll re-watch re the video and have a look. Look, how, look at these lovely small spools here. and some spring steel springs. They certainly do feel strong, spool, steel spring. I think this is backwards because, oh, look at that, a steel spool. Look how awesome that one is. There we go. Isn't that cool? Just how really, really thin that spindle is. So, um, cause I think that pin two is, uh, it's, it's not a spool, so I might have got this wrong way round. If so, I'll just swap the pins over. Uh, drop that pin that spring out. Yes, pin two was a standard, sorry. So um, so this is, let's do this the other way around, swap them over. So that's six, five, four, three, two. And this would have been pin one. Let's get that spring out. All springs are the same, and one is a really nice steel spool which keeps drumming away, and the spring. There we go. Bring this up for you. Just look at that. These are lovely, actually, really lovely. So, um, really, really, really deep spools with very thin sort of spindles provides very very deep full sets um i find that the steel 
pins in particular are um, with steel springs are just a harder, more exhausting, fatiguing pick. Um, but this is a great example of a lock with just good tolerances that makes picking it a whole lot harder and a lot easier to drop pins once set. Great lock though, I mean, what a beast. If you like this video, then please do give it a like. If you have a comment, leave a comment below. I read all the comments, reply to as many as I can. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this video, I'd really appreciate it. This video, <laughs> this channel, then I really appreciate it. It really helps me out. And of course, I'll see you all next time.